We're on an interlocking pavement driveway here. It's new construction, so we tried to get down to an in situ soil, but there just seems to be, you know, aggregate here and clean stone there. And but our predominant soil type is a clay soil. You can see its pliability and its plasticity. The level of fines in this this soil are so high, we're not going to take the chance on a gradation amendment alone. Typically, my first step would be using a three-quarter inch clean stone, compacting that into this layer to change the gradation of the clay and increase its bearing ability. I can see that's not going to be enough for this project. So I'm going to do, in addition to that, a lime and a type S stabilization. I'm going to get about 12 bags in this 900 square foot area, dump them, rake them in, then apply my clean stone, and then I'll begin compaction of this to 98% standard proctor density, and you'll see the nuclear density gauge test performed this afternoon. Okay, let me get my first bag of Type S down. And I'll rake that out. Come on, fellas. My bag of lime down. And start spreading that around. Working it into the subgrade. Trying to get a nice even coat. of both materials over this clay. How are we doing, fellas? I'm standing on the subgrade. It's amended with type S mortar mix and lime. It's gonna change its chemical composition and increase its bearing ability. Because it's an interlocking pavement, we're trying to retain the flexibility of the system. We don't wanna put straight Portland down here. That has the potential to crack not retake its original shape and leave that imperfection in the surface of the pavement. So our choice was lime, type S mortar mix, no straight Portland. It's a flexible paving system.